Welcome, foolish mortals, to another episode of the Hitchhiking Host Show. I am your host, your ghost host, <laughs> West Troop. And I am here with a sort of early episode of this week's show because the news broke. The internet is about to break, I have a feeling, because all, all well, if you don't know, D23, which is the Disney convention, which uh, is over in Anaheim this weekend, just dropped all of their Disney Parks news. Uh, so all those rumors that you might have heard over the last year and a half, two years, some of them were marked true. <laughs> some of them things you were might be dreading to hear might be true. Uh, you're just gonna have to find out and listen to what I have to say. <laughs> um, some things you might be excited for were talked about, of course, as well. Um, one <laughs> being behind me. <laughs> yeah, some of you, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, all right. So there was a lot of stuff talked about at this convention. Of course, this covers the movies. This covers animation. This covers everything, including the theme parks. We're just gonna talk about the theme park stuff because this is the Hitchhiking Host Show, and that's what we cover. So ladies and gentlemen, Without any further ado, this is kind of a longer episode today because uh, we have a lot to talk about. I'm going to try not to talk about everything too long just to get everything in um, in an orderly fashion, in a timely fashion, <laughs> so it's not a 10-hour video. So, of course, I'll talk about certain things later as certain things open or close, as you're about to see. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's find out what happened down at D23 with some trending topics. <laughs> All right, so first up on the list, we are going to start out with what news was announced about Star Wars Land. Uh, the official name of the lands at both Disney's Hollywood Studios and Disneyland will be Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. The land will in fact open at Disneyland first followed by the Walt Disney World version later on. Of course, we don't have dates on those yet, but of course, I'm going to tell you when, the, when I get do find out. Because <laughs> why wouldn't I? In the remote trading port, guests will have a chance to man the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon, much like we all thought. Familiar characters from Star Wars Rebels will make appearances, either congratulating you on a job well done or sending a bounty hunter after you, as we've talked about on here before. The other attraction will be set inside a Star Destroyer hangar bay, where uh, and that is supposedly going to be a screen ride, as far as we know. Uh, the vehicle was shown this weekend, and it looks like f uh, four seats across and then four seats across and back of that, um, a little higher. The vehicle will hold eight, and it's going to have a droid on it that takes you through the hangar bay. So very cool. That looks very cool as well. Uh, characters guests will meet in uh, the Galaxy's Edge include BB-8, Chewbacca, members of the First Order, and the return of Captain Rex from Star Tours, who's now a DJ. <laughs> in the Land's Cantina, which will be a restaurant you can eat in, of course, guests will be able to try some fun drinks, including blue milk. We've talked about Star Wars Land many, 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 many times on this show, and you all know I'm excited for it. Um, nothing really remotely huge in those announcements. Uh, well, we do know that Disneyland will open at first, um, and then uh, the Disney uh, Hollywood Studio version later on. And of course, now we know the name, Star Wars Galaxy Edge. Um, no other, other restaurant other than the cantina was mentioned. Um, not a whole lot about the rides. Uh, but we do know that it's, it is coming, but, uh, yeah, so, and we know you'll be able to meet some characters, of course, um, and Captain Rex is back, so how cool is that? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, not a whole lot of information that we didn't know was coming concerning Star Wars Land, Galaxy's Edge, um, but, uh, yeah, still excited for that. Of course, more info will be coming for that as uh, we get closer to its opening. And, you know, basically every week <laughs> we'll be 
we'll be finding more out about Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Uh, speaking of Disney's Hollywood Studios, now for a bit of a downer, everybody, because <laughs> well, I think we all kind of knew this was coming. It was announced that the great movie ride at Disney's Hollywood Studios will, in fact, be closing to be replaced by a new ride that centers around Mickey and Minnie Mouse, which is called Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Wow. That's an interesting name. The ride will let you step into the movie screen and onto Goofy's train, placing you inside a Mickey cartoon short. The attraction will be the first ever Mickey-themed ride through attraction. That's interesting. With a new original story and lovable attraction theme song. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> it's inspired by the newest style of Mickey shorts, which are... Eh, hit and miss with me, at least. And Disney animators are partnering up with the parks to develop it. It will feature new visual technology Disney Imagineers are calling 2.5D, which means that you don't need no stinking 3D glasses <laughs> to feel that there are three-dimensional images around you. The Imagineers say that this ride will be a game-changing attraction. Yeah, well, we'll see when the game-changer himself right here rides it. And, uh... Unfortunately, <laughs> the last day for the great movie ride will be August 13th, 2017. That's right, less than a month. So if you are a great movie ride fanatic and you want to ride it one more time, you better get your butt on over to Hollywood Studios within the next month. But <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll never be able to ride it again. That's kind of a bummer. Um, I, that's why I have my videos that I tape. Um, I can always have, there's always YouTube, right, ladies and gentlemen? Um, I kind of had a feeling Great Movie Ride was going to be replaced sooner or later because all these rumors were going around for years and years and years about something, either redoing it or updating it. I wish they just would have updated it. Um, not to come down on this Mickey ride because... I'm sure it'll be fine. I, I'll, I'll be excited to see it. I just hate that they can't put it somewhere else and leave the great movie ride. It was like the only <laughs> opening thing from MGM Studios that, other than like the Indiana Jones show, which I barely watch, um, that was left. You know, it's just sort of a bummer. So the Mickey and Minnie ride, this runaway railway, I'm sure will be fine. I'm sure I'll enjoy it. We'll see. I hope I enjoy it. God. Uh, otherwise, it'll really be a bummer that they replace Great Movie Ride. Um, I, I, the, the, uh, this 2.5D sounds very interesting. That it, that uh, boosts my hopes a little bit for this, that it won't just be like some crappy screen ride or something that they have a million of now. Um, you know, it's just a bummer that Great Movie Ride has to go. I know for a fact it's a lot of people's favorite rides at Hollywood Studios and even some of their favorite rides at all of Walt Disney World. So it is it is a shame to see that go, um, especially this soon. So, uh, you know, you take the good, you take the bad. That's what the facts of life say, right, people? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So we have to, uh, well, we have to be all right with that, I guess, now. So, uh, yeah, Mickey Mouse Ride is officially coming. Also at Disney's Hollywood Studios, Toy Story Land will be opening in summer of 2018, where you will find yourself shrunk to the size of a toy to explore the world of Andy's backyard with your favorite Toy Story characters, including Woody and Buzz. Well, duh. <laughs> and Toy Story Land will feature two new themed attractions, the Family Coaster Slinky Dog Dash and the Alien Swirling Saucers Ride, which are adjacent to the existing Toy Story Mania attraction, of course. Uh, nothing new here, other than the fact that we know it's coming in summer 2018. Toy Story Land, uh, I'm sure will be neat. Uh, I'll be excited to see that when I do go back to Disney's Hollywood Studios, as it'll be one of the only things still open. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna park hop over to Epcot, because it was officially confirmed. We talked about this on the last episode, ladies and gentlemen. We talked about it first. Well, not really. Many other websites did, but we did. We talked about it a little uh, as well. So uh, it was confirmed that the Ratatouille ride from Disneyland Paris will be coming to Epcot's Francais Pavilion. That's right. Uh, 
of that Ratatouille ride that we talked I mean, I actually, I remember talking about the Ratatouille ride when it opened over in the Disneyland Paris Resort uh, way back when the show first began. Um, I have no problem with that. I'm excited to see something coming into the France Pavilion that's more than just the uh, movie. Um, will the movie be replaced? Uh, that's the good question. Uh, there's going to be a lot of updates coming for this. All we know is that it is coming. We don't know when. We don't know where it's going, other than the France Pavilion, obviously. <laughs> so uh, that's that. And fi also, uh, this was another big rumor that had been going around the interwebs for a long time, it's now confirmed that the Guardians of the Galaxy ride will replace Universe of Energy over at Future World, which will close August 13th, 2017. Is that a Friday? Is that a Friday the 13th? Because that sure would be fitting if it is. Let's see. Oh, no, it's a Sunday. Crap. <laughs> it would be fitting because that's going to go down as a day in infamy in Disney Park history with a lot of fans. <laughs> so, but, uh, um, yeah, I know there's a lot of people mixed with that one about Guardians of the Galaxy in Future World because they want it more science y and, you know, stuff like that. Um, you know, Universe of Energy hasn't really ever been one of my favorite rides i enjoyed the universe of energy theme song <laughs> that's about all but uh you know that ellen version needed an update i mean i'm sure they could have updated the universe of energy itself but guardians of galaxy is going to give them more money and that's what it comes down to um and epcot is becoming part of the story of this ride as peter quill enjoyed visiting the park when he was a kid on terra known as earth um you guys know I love Guardians of the Galaxy, um, and I'm fine with the uh, the ride over in California. Um, it looks fine to me, at least on video. Uh, and I think that means, ladies and gentlemen, in uh, Florida, that Tower of Terror should be safe for a while <laughs> since they're doing a ride at, uh, at Epcot. I don't think they'll do the same thing to Disney's Hollywood Studios. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so the, um, obviously details are very scarce on what that's going to be. So uh, we just got to take that for what it's worth. But, once again, Universe of Energy does close on August 13th. Less than a month from now, if you are a fan of that ride, make sure you get over and see it one last time. The China Pavilion will also be getting a new seamless circle vision film. Fine with me. Nothing bad there. <laughs> no, they're just going to replace the old film, uh, which is, you know, shot in the 80s. So, Or whenever it was shot, it sort of seems like it was the 80s. Uh, and also, a new restaurant is also coming to the area next to Mission Space. I'm wondering if that's going to be, um, well, anyway, which will be space-themed restaurant, which will make guests feel like they are dining amidst the stars. And if I'm next to you at your table, you will be dining next to a star. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, so <laughs> the new restaurant will be operated by the Patina Restaurant Group, who also operate Tutto, Tutto Italia and Via Napoli at Epcot and the Morimoto Asia at Disney Springs. Very cool. Uh, space theme restaurant sounds awesome to me. I definitely would like to uh, check that out. So at Epcot, you got some good news. If you're a Universe of Energy fan, you got some bad news. Uh, if you're a Guardians of the Galaxy fan, you got some great news. Uh, it's all based on your perspective, I guess. Uh, now we're going to park hop once again over to the Magic Kingdom because we talked about this not so long ago as well. The new Tron attraction was announced. And for those of you Speedway lovers, never fear because the new ride will be built in a new area next to Space Mountain, not replacing any existing rides. So your beloved Speedway is safe. <laughs> as well, I was just hoping they wouldn't knock down the carousel of progress, or I'd have a heart attack. All right. <laughs> and it will be similar to the Tron roller coaster found in Shanghai Disneyland, of course, and it should open by 2021. So lots of time <laughs> to prepare for the new Tron attraction. That won't, won't be here for a long time. 
<laughs> also at the Magic Kingdom, a new theater venue is coming to Main Street USA. Now this one surprised me. Uh, something actually at Main Street other than the shops? Oh, color me surprised. Uh, <laughs> this theater will be inspired by the Willis Wood Theater in 1920s Kansas City, and the theater will be home to big stage shows like the Hyperion at Disney's California Adventure. And if you don't know what the Hyperion is at Disney's California Adventure, well, you can Google, or you can know that that's where they did uh, the show's Aladdin, uh, the humongous musical spectacular that was a great hit for many, many years, and most recently the Frozen show, which some people love and, of course, some people despise, just like everything Frozen. <laughs> so, <laughs> what will be playing there? Nobody knows. But, of course, I'll keep you updated when I hear more about this new theater that is coming to Main Street. Uh, outside of the parks at Walt Disney World, it was also announced, <laughs> check this one out, a new Star Wars hotel, which will be opening, which will be fully immersive experience, is part of what Disney is calling their 360 vacation concept, which will be a living adventure that features an entirely new form of Disney storytelling. From the second you arrive, you will become a part of a Star Wars story. You'll immediately become a citizen of the galaxy and experience all that entails, including dressing up in the proper attire. Oh, man. A dress code. <laughs> Once you leave Earth, you will discover a starship alive with characters, stories, and adventures that unfold all around you. And from what I can see from the picture, it looks like there's going to be a robotic bartender. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's 100% and immersive and the story will touch every single minute of your day and it will culminate in a unique journey for every person who visits so that's going to be expensive <laughs> um it, if I have the pictures it looks awesome will i ever be able to afford it i don't know uh do you, do you think i'm going to be checking that out when it opens you damn right <laughs> hopefully you can just go walk in and check out the resort much like you can if you have dining res uh, i'll get a dining reservation if i have to at one of the restaurants or something um you better believe that i'll be checking out if i have to i'll be slobbering on the windows to let me in but i don't know maybe they'll have to throw me in jail who knows but i definitely will be checking out that star wars hotel when it opens uh even if i don't end up staying there hopefully i'll know someone who's staying there or something whatever uh let me know if you plan on staying there and uh give me your contact information <laughs> anyway speaking of new hotels a new epcot area hotel was announced as well it will be called the Disney Riviera Resort, connecting to the newly announced Disney Skyliner Skyway. Oh, spoiler, I didn't announce that yet. Uh, we knew that was coming, anyway. But this rooftop restaurant will, uh, well, the, the resort will have a rooftop restaurant that will offer unbelievable views of the nighttime spectaculars at both Epcot and Disney's Hollywood Studios. The Disney Riviera Resort will open in fall of 2019 as the 15th Disney Vacation Club property with approximately 300 units. Uh, so another hotel is coming, the Riviera Resort around the Epcot area. Um, sounds nice enough to me. Um, other than the fact that it's coming in fall of 2019, I don't know much about it. So, uh, yeah, just know a new Epcot hotel is coming. Yay. <laughs> and now for a taste of things to come, I just gave you the all new transportation systems are coming to Walt Disney World. And we talked about that on this show, too. See, the stuff I talk about on here does happen. <laughs> the Disney Skyliner will be a new gondola system that will connect Disney's Art of Animation, Pop Century, and Caribbean Beach Resorts, and other locations with Disney's Hollywood Studios and the International Gateway at Epcot. Obviously, that Riviera Hotel will also be a part of this. Uh, the vehicles will feature Disney characters, including Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy, and the Hitchhiking Ghosts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> on the vehicles themselves on the outside, as you can see in this picture that I'm sure I have up right now. <laughs> um, Future West, make sure you get a picture of that on there. Yeah, you do. I know you do. I know you, I know you got it. 
Also, vehicles themed to Minnie Mouse will also be able to take you everywhere at the Walt Disney World Resort, even backstage, I doubt it, with an Uber-like system. We knew that, uh, the Uber thing surprised me, um, and I'm sure that's going to be pricey. But uh, yeah, we knew about this gondola system. Sounds very cool. The fact that they got a hitchhiking ghost one, uh, I'll tell you what. If you see me in line and you are getting a hitchhiking ghost, you better let me go on it. <laughs> if you're like, oh my god, it's Wes, the hitchhiking host, go ahead. All right, <laughs> that's what I expect you to do. <laughs> Just kidding. Hopefully, I'll be able to get on that gondola. I'll just have to keep riding the gondola till I get that one. But uh, that'll be that'll be like the uh, like my thing with the great movie ride, where I never saw the frickin' cowboy till the last time it was on it. Thank God I did. Otherwise, I would have been really mad. The fact that they're taking that out if I never saw the cowboy scene and just got the gangster every time. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> so uh, just know that the gondola system is coming to Walt Disney World. Now we're going to fly over to the Disneyland Resort because some stuff actually did happen over there. <laughs> some big news for Disney's California Adventure as we found out that Paradise Pier will transform into Pixar Pier. Whoa, big news. It will also sport a new look as characters from Pixar films descend upon it, including The Incredibles, Inside Out, and more Toy Story, of course. Permanent changes to the park include building new areas to help bring the worlds of Pixar to life. So, the Paradise Pier section, uh, I enjoy it, but it seems a lot like a regular theme park, like a Dorney Park, or for those of you that live in Pennsylvania, like I used to. Um, I never really knew what the theming exactly was other than an old school boardwalk type thing, which is which was fine for what it is. Um, the, the Pixar Pier is, is interesting. I know there's going to be a lot of people that are on the fence about this as well. Um, I'm just going to have to see what it looks like when I go. Um, hopefully World of Color will still be the same. I assume it will. It's very popular, so I don't think they're going to change World of Color to make it like a Pixar show or something at night. Um, the Mickey's Fun Wheel, I guess could change to something else uh maybe it, maybe it'll be maybe that's what inside out will be with you know how they have those balls going down i don't know i have no clue what they're gonna do with this uh you know they have toy story midway mania over there um i hope the coaster is not affected uh anything else over there i mean goofy sky school that can change to something else um uh, the jumping jellyfish could change to something else and I won't get care at all. <laughs> or the swings. I don't care. Um, so, uh, yeah. It is what it is for that one. Um, um, it's going to look kind of the same, I would assume. It'll still have the same kind of thing, but with Pixar characters. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Um, also, Spider-Man and the Avengers will be joining what Disney is describing as a completely immersive superhero universe at Disney's California Adventure. We got the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy ride over there just a month ago, and uh, now they say more is coming, obviously. Uh, what they didn't say, as not much else was said about exactly what that meant, other than the hint that it will be the, an experience, the world of Marvel in a new, more personal way. So more Marvel's coming. Big surprise. <laughs> and also at Disneyland, a new fireworks show will debut along with marking the return of the Pixar Play Parade. So that makes sense. Um, let's bring the Pixar Play Parade over at Disneyland, even though we're going to have... A Pixar theme land over at Disney's California Adventure. Okay. Uh, who knows? They could always bring it back over when that opens. Uh, and Paint the Night will be returning, but this time over at Disney's California Adventure. So the, if you're a fan of the Paint the Night, Paint, 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 Night, Paint the Night Parade, know that will be over at DCA. Uh, they also announced details for Disneyland's Halloween time. For this year, uh, were unveiled, set to begin September 15th and last through Halloween at both Disneyland and Disney's California Adventure. In front of Disney's California Adventure, Oogie Boogie will rise in silhouettes with bats lining the entrance. Inside, the Headless Horseman will appear in a statue on Bu Buena Vista Street as bats coil around Carthay Circle's bell tower. 
Cars Land, now this is interesting, is transforming Radiator Springs into Radiator Screams as the Cars characters will feature their best Cars dooms, uh, such as Vampire Mater. Okay, then. <laughs> and Space Mountain Ghost Galaxy will return to Disneyland, along with Haunted Mansion Holiday and the Main Street USA Pumpkin Festival as well as the Dia de los Muertos skeleton display in Frontierland. And finally, one more thing. The Disneyland, for you over my foreign watchers, <laughs> over in Paris, the Disneyland Paris Hotel was announced to feature the Art of Marvel, a reimagining of the hotel concept. The Disney's Hotel New York, the Art of Marvel, will transport guests to the action-packed, inspiring world of superheroes, including Iron Man, the Avengers, Spider-Man, and others. So that hotel over in Paris will be getting a transformation into somewhat of a Marvel uh, hotel which is going to be very cool for them. Another thing I'll probably never see. <laughs> but it's cool nonetheless. Alright, well that's the show. I'll be back with another episode very soon. We'll see you next week with some more trending topics with the fallout from D23 of course. And if anything else is new and mentioned, put it on there. I also will be... Uh, uh, running the new episodes of the Hitchhiking Ho Show 101 where we're going to talk about uh, a certain Disney Parks attraction, the history of it. Um, I haven't been able to do it in a while, but they will be coming back for fans of the series. I have not given up, believe me. Um, I just I need the time and uh, it'll be coming soon. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got you. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Hitcho Show. You can like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash Hitcho Show. Follow on the Twitter at Hitcho Show. And if you want to listen to the show or you are listening to the show, do so over on Podbean, HitchoShow.podbean.com, or search under Stitcher or iTunes. No, search on Stitchers or iTunes under West Troop or the Hitchhiking Ho Show. Until next time, don't forget to. For the next episode, see ya.